welcome to vlogmas day 14 i think so i am getting a little bit of a late start on vlogging but that is okay because we have a long day from here on out i pretty much just got all of my work done in the morning for my full-time job and my youtube stuff so i woke up early finished editing uploaded my vlog for today and then i did my other work for my job and now it is about 3 30 and i am sitting at the post office right now because i had to drop off a package and ship it but i believe i'm going to go to tj maxx honestly today is just like really weird like i don't know like i've just been kind of in a bad mood it's monday i don't know i've just been in a bad mood for literally no reason other than like just minor inconveniences that like add up and annoy me i just annoy myself when i'm in a bad mood because i'm like you literally have no reason to be in a bad mood but you are so anyways and then i'm like at the post office and i'm like waiting to go in i'm like packaging my stuff i hear these guys like yelling and i'm like what the heck is going on well i guess one of them hit the other one's car even though it was not um like noticeable at all so i'm gonna switch you guys over here and honestly i don't know it just seemed kind of sketchy like like the guy was lying i don't know it was just super weird both of them were kind of acting weird i don't know the one guy was like you hit my car you hit my car right here there's a scratch right here there and i'm like sitting right beside them they're like right well they left now but like they were like right here and i was like i don't see a scratch but you know whatever anyways and the dude is like there's no red paint on it because his car was red and he's like there's no red paint on it like blah 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 well i guess they ended up exchanging insurance information anyways i don't know maybe i am just weird but like if someone dinged my car and it was like literally a scratch small enough to not even show any paint like i wouldn't bother with it and that's just me i guess but anyway super interesting day i'm wearing this super freaking cute sweatshirt i will link this shop down below it's like a um small business and they have the cutest like designer inspired stuff i'm obsessed but anyways i think someone's waiting for my spot so i need to go all right the lighting is horrible but i just got to plato's closet I already put my mask on. But anyways, yeah, so I had been in my car for like a long time that I was gonna take to Plato's Closet and just like sell them for like a little bit of quick cash. I'm gonna drop that off right now, then head over to TJ Maxx while they go through it, and then I'll come back and pick up the stuff that they didn't take. All right, you guys, so I'm now out of TJ Maxx and Home Goods, and I just picked up my stuff from Plato's Closet. I made like $77, so nothing too crazy, but still a little something, so that's nice. But I'm actually sitting outside of Plato's Closet, and I thought I would um, show you guys what I got at TJ Maxx just kind of like an impromptu car haul because i don't know i just we're just gonna switch it up we're gonna do it in the car today instead of waiting until i get home so i did get quite a bit of stuff at tj maxx they have really cute stuff out right now and they had a plant that i really really loved because i'm looking for a plant kind of to put in the background of my videos but it was a hundred dollars so i just felt like i don't know the one we have in our house now i want to say i got it for like sixty dollars from marshall's actually so i think i'm gonna check there first anyways or i'll look on wayfair i'm not sure but so one main reason why i went there well first of all i did have a couple returns but we needed more wrapping paper so i picked up two more um rolls of wrapping paper i found that the tj maxx wrapping paper worked a lot better than the target wrapping paper so these were 3.99 each i just got this one that has the little um kind of like red lights on it and i've been doing the theme this year of like the brown paper background with like the foil kind of detail on top so that's what i did for this one and then for this one i just got a like a cream and gold sort of metallic wrapping paper these match what i already had so that is good i also got more k-cups these were on sale for $8.99 they are just the starbucks pike place roast i really like these it comes with 16 which is a pretty good deal and i can always use more k-cups also got this which i don't know it, if it will be good or not so it's basically i just thought it was cute it had like it's a little cup and it has a straw not that i really need that aspect of it but it comes with six blending sponges and they're kind of all different shapes but they look really soft i guess i'll have to kind of see if they actually are soft or not i didn't want to open it in the store oh wow they are really nice okay yay i was so nervous so it comes with like two regular ones that just look like beauty blenders 
um and then it comes with uh some with like flat edges actually it comes with three normal ones and three with flat edges it looks like okay i was super nervous because sometimes these can be like really stiff or something and i didn't want that so yeah these actually look really nice so i'm excited because this was only 8.99 and it comes with a bunch of them and it's in this cute cup so that's perfect next up i got this lash comb it says it is a full volume effect lash comb i use like lash wands right now for my lash extensions but I don't know i wanted to try this it looked like it would kind of separate them a little bit better so i'm gonna try that out it was 3.99 i also got another baseball cap you guys know i love baseball caps i wear them all the time i was gonna say i saw suggested retail it said 25 dollars. i was like please tell me i didn't pay 25 dollars for this because i did not look at the price but it was only 9.99 so anyways this is my college and i just liked the color of this one this was in the men's section but it says it's unisex but yeah, I don't have anything like this. It's like a beige, but it still has Virginia Tech on it. I really like that. So yeah, $10. I also got a new charging cable for downstairs in my studio. This will just be nice to have. Plus I kind of needed a new one anyways. So it's just a purple braided lightning cable, 10 foot long. I'll get a lot of use out of that. This was $12.99, kind of expensive, but I don't know. I also got this little makeup case. I thought this was super cute. It's just like a snake skin with the studs right there and it's very like flexible um again just to kind of store different things down in my studio i thought this would be nice this was 6.99 plus you could travel with this and all of that if you wanted to they also had a cute beige one it was just like all like beige faux leather and then it had like a snake skin part in the middle that was really cute i also picked up this planner so i just thought that was cute it's like a little giraffe it's like a boho giraffe you guys probably know by now I love giraffes. It's a 12 month planner, uh, January to December, 2021. It was only $8 and I did already buy a, my like actual like big planner from Erin Condren, but I liked this one just to kind of jot things down in, kind of more of just like a note notebook planner i don't know just i don't know if that makes sense i don't know if you guys have multiple planners like that like my erin condren one i like to be a little bit more organized and intentional but this one i can just kind of jot things down in because it has just like open spaces like that and i liked the layout of this one how it was like the whole week on one whole page instead of having the week separated because i don't need a whole lot of room for a planner like this but i loved this one okay and then i also got a bunch of hair care products which is kind of random them, but I'm actually almost out of like my big size shampoo and conditioner so I thought I would try one out from TJ Maxx which I don't usually do I don't usually buy beauty products from TJ Maxx because I've heard that you shouldn't really but I don't know I just I kind of wanted to okay so we did because there's been speculation like if they're the real thing or not but I'm like how would it not be I don't know Anyway, so I got this kind. Please let me know if you've tried this and if you liked it. All of the ingredients actually look really, really good. It is the Biokeratin Moisture Restore Shampoo and Conditioner. They both come with pumps, which is nice. They were $12.99 each, and they seem like they have really good ingredients. No alcohol, no sulfates, no parabens, like just really good stuff. It's a lot of um, like natural extracts and things like that. It says infused with botanical extracts and keratin protein so yeah sulfate and paraben free color safe so yeah i'm excited to try these because my hair definitely needs moisture and um it is like kind of colored it's been colored for years i don't really color it now other than the next time i go i am gonna have her cover up my gray hair yes i already have gray hair um but yeah, I don't know. I'm super interested to try these. Mostly, I was just looking at the ingredients and I was like, um, I follow this girl on TikTok actually who has like hair goals and she talks all the time about how she got her hair looking the way it is now and it is absolutely beautiful so i just wanted to start incorporating products that don't have the ingredients that she recommended like not to have in your shampoo if that makes sense so and then another brand that she uses a lot for her shampoo and conditioner and like hair products is the shea moisture brand and they had this there that is a red palm oil and cocoa butter leave-in or rinse out conditioner curly coily shrinkage prone hair which I just thought was interesting. I'll try it, you know, obviously in the shower. And then I'll also try it just in my hair. Because it says you can leave it in your hair. So, 
I don't know. We'll see. It's kind of a big bottle. It was $9.99. And then the last hair product I got is a keratin leave-in conditioner spray by the same brand, Bio Keratin. This was only $6.99. And um, I just love a good leave-in conditioner spray. I put something in my hair like that every time I wash my hair, whether it be um, like a cream leave-in conditioner treatment or a spray. So I thought I would just try out a new brand. This one, again, looked interesting. It says it's for dry color treated damage damaged hair, repairs, dry damaged hair, detangles, and prevents split ends, controls frizz, color safe, all of that good stuff. So yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I've just kind of been wanting to step up my hair care game and that seemed like a good way to do it. Getting close to the end here, I also got these that are really random. The Brookstone Thera Spa Warming Slippers. So I think you can just like put them in your microwave. Basically, they're just, you know, warming slippers. It says they have lavender in them as well. You can also use them cold. I'll probably mostly use them hot. I just wanted something like this for when I'm downstairs. My feet get so, so cold and even my slippers don't really help like my normal slippers. So I wanted something that I could like heat up. So I don't know. I'm going to see if that will work in the way that I want it to. And then the last two things that I got are two pairs of little leggings, like athletic leggings. This pair is by the brand Yoga Licious looks Ooh. and I liked this color a lot it's kind of like an evergreen um like forest green color or kind of like a teal I don't know kind of in between that really pretty the color is not really showing up on camera but I loved this these were $16.99 but they have um a po like pockets on the side which I love for when I'm in the gym and then I also got these which kind of match me right now and they are just like a leopard pair um these look really nice I actually got these in a medium because they looked kind of big these are by evolution and creation and they were $14.99 no pockets on the side this time but still just like really cute leggings so I love those. I'm excited to try those on. I've been like living in just like athletic leggings lately. But yeah, that is everything that I got at TJ Maxx. I'm gonna go home, feed my dogs, kind of just like chill for a minute, maybe import this footage. And then later tonight, I'm going over to my mom's house and me, my mom, and my friend Amber are just gonna have like kind of like a girl's night and it's gonna be nice and Christmassy. I think we're gonna make like hot cocoa, wear pajamas, and maybe watch like a Christmas movie or two. So yeah, that is my plan for for the night but I need to get going because it is 5 10 and I probably have hungry dogs at home I'm at my mom so we're here for girls night pajama Christmas pajama night Amber has her onesie everyone I'm give really, a pajama outfit of the day I'm really into peanuts because as a child that's what I watched Charlie Brown and so this is Snoopy on his lighted dog house that's so cute uh -huh. are those from Nordstrom no, these, oh, they look this like... is actually from, I'm sure you could probably get these at Nordstrom because I got them at TJ Maxx. And at my pajamas are, wow. mine are from Madewell and they're really nice because they're just like thermal. They're really comfortable. Man, look at your furry Crocs. I love oh. my furry Crocs. Show us your Crocs and okay. your charms. No, I, I love Crocs now. Again, <laughs> the other side of my personality. But the furry ones take the cake. So I included the men's furry ones, even though Patrick said not to. I included them in my men's gift guide and one girl commented and I thought it was funny and she was like, love all of the ideas except for the Crocs. She said, I think they are so ugly and they should never be worn or something like yeah. that. And I was like, I used to think that too, but everyone are. They're not our... the most attractive no. thing, but they are. They're really good. Like they're not for fashion, yeah. but no. I do personally i have one pair and it's probably the only pair i'll ever have and i like them for like the lake or like if we go like to the right. cabin or something like that to take the dogs out my charms are a rose. I, can't, I just can't believe you got charms yes i have a rose and i have a coconut drink because i would love to be at the beach and i have one that says dog mom and one that's a cake which What's is the and then the rose? the rose the rose so this is perfect for me they are personalized how so cute i love them very much mm -hmm. i have on these they're ugg slippers with pom-poms oh i love those mom made chicken chili wait, wait chicken tortilla soup sorry really yummy it's really hot though oh my gosh all right so now we have the chips and the cheese and the sour cream it's still really hot it's not as soupy as i wanted it to be oh really i like this kind of better you do yeah it's more chicken chili vibes but mm -hmm. i kind of like it like that yeah, I'm not a big soup guy. Now we're gonna make hot chocolate. 
it. Okay, so I lift to begin and close it. Continue. Beautiful. Did you just do this kind too, Mom? Yes, and it's really good. Good. Marshmallow lovers. I have my Santa mug. Let me see. <laughs> I have a Santa one too. I think mom's from. I love my Santa mug. Big lots. We're watching Four Christmases. I'm drinking out of my Falala mug. And we have mom's pretty Christmas tree. I wish I could decorate Christmas trees for a living. Bucky found a nice seat yeah. right here on top of Winston. Everybody loves you. And mom. Um, Buck, who do you think you are? Like you can just sit on top of other dogs? All right guys, I just got home with the dogs and I'm going to go ahead and get ready for bed and go to sleep because I'm very tired. It's almost like 11. Yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you guys are still enjoying vlogmas and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.